Hey, it's Travis with Rescued Goodies, and I'm going to show you this uh, new week's sales, starting off with something that's very important to pay attention to, because my cost of goods on these items was very cheap, and I found these items by talking to people. I sold these large toner cartridges for uh, Ryko or Savin or Lanier, uh, pretty high-end professional business printers, copiers. I sold each one for $50 uh, plus shipping to different parties, and my cost of goods was zero. Why is that? Uh, I also sold this one little packet of Ryko Staples Type T for $6 plus shipping. And I got those for free and about 10 other toners simply because I was talking to people. Not quite networking, but I was just in a group of people and we were all talking about various things in our lives and I was chatting about reselling and how I had discovered a bunch of Hewlett Packard toner cartridges and they can be worth a lot of money. And somebody in the group that I was talking with said, hey, um, we got a ton of toner cartridges just sitting in a closet at work for printers or copiers that we don't even have anymore. Long story short, she asked her supervisors if it was okay to try to find a way to dispose of them, get me in contact with your supervisor, or just let them know that you found somebody willing to buy them. Her supervisor to say, uh, just give them to them. And in this particular case, I wasn't exactly fishing for toner cartridges, but I wasn't being all secretive about it. And it got me thinking, you know, we can't really just rely on thrift shops and yard sales. There are a lot of other potential sources for inventory that we need to look into. All right, got some more sales. Sold a Sony DVD player VCR combo model SLV-D350P for $39.95 plus shipping. Works fine, no remote. I paid $10 for it at a Goodwill, and it sold fairly quickly to a repeat buyer. I think there's a VCR DVD repair store that buys these from me to stock their shelves. I got a sale on Mercari, and this is a bolo that's not going to last long, but it's still active on eBay and Mercari. Jack's brand Shadow the Hedgehog 5-inch figure. I sold this for about, I think, $31.95 on Mercari plus shipping. It's currently, as of the end of September 2024, uh, going for 30-ish plus shipping on eBay. And I was just browsing the toy aisle looking for other Bolo action figures. And for some reason, even though I hadn't heard about this one, I just happened to look through the Sonic figures because I knew that the movies were pretty successful and that a new one was coming out. I realized, hey, Shadow is the new character in the upcoming movie that people are excited to see. And I thought, huh, maybe. And I looked it up. Holy, $30, okay. But I paid $15 for him, and I was a little nervous about it. And I thought, is this a flash in the pan, you know, hot new item? Am I going to be stuck with it? But since he wasn't clearance, I knew I could return him. And I set an alarm on my phone. Okay, remind me in seven days, if it hasn't sold yet, to double check what the prices are doing on this thing. And if the market's starting to get flooded with copies and the sale price is trending down, maybe I should just return the money and find something better to use that $15 on. But he sold in five days on Mercari, and I got my $15 back plus $15, so doubling my money in five days, not, not a bad risk. I sold the Slopper Stopper Deluxe Dripless Dog Water Ball. Sold this large one for $37.95 plus shipping. Most of them aren't selling for quite that much, perhaps because I have the rubber stopper plug and the manual is still in there. But I'd sold this before, and when I saw it and picked it up at the thrift shop for $5, uh, I knew it would be a solid sell. And next were a couple of sales that cheered me up greatly because they were two digital cameras, both of which sold for over $100. 
Uh, one was the Nikon Coolpix S3500. This purple color was especially great to see because I figured it'd go for a little bit higher than average. But I only paid $3 at a yard sale, actually. And it sold pretty fast for $149.95 plus shipping. And the other that I sold was this Canon PowerShot Elf 160. I only paid 6 for this at a Goodwill. And it sold for $119.95 plus shipping. Every couple of months, I look into buying returned merchandise pallets or looking into bidding on storage units that are abandoned or scouring Facebook Marketplace and trying to snipe some good deals that I could flip. I haven't personally really found any good alternate ways. I've spent so many hours scouring different sites to purchase pallets of returns or looking through Facebook Marketplace, trying to find reasonably priced deals, or hunting through different aisles of stores, try, trying to check out their clearance items, and really nothing seemed to be worth the time and effort. Very, very few gems, and even if by a miracle something appears, I would always ask myself, yeah, but what about all those hours that I spent hunting to find this thing? Is the profit worth all the time that it took to find this one little nugget of treasure? Usually I'd say no. I think, however, networking and just being known as a person who resells. But enough of that for now. Let's uh, look on to some other sales I've had. Incidentally, when you're shipping things like these little digital cameras that are small, light, compact, but could be pretty valuable. You know, the temptation is to sell or ship them in something efficient and small like this. This is a six inch by four by four that I got in bulk off of Amazon for about 49 cents. And this is the you know, 7.25 by 7.25 by six and a half priority mail box, little square box that you can get for free just ordering direct from the USPS website. And, oh, just, just go the cheapest way. Um, you know, they'll only pay 5 or $6 in shipping, or you will, and it'll be fine. They're very unlikely to be damaged. Um, however, lately, not for any particular reason, I haven't had trouble with the little boxes, but I've just become more confident um, using these boxes. I like using these free boxes because they're free, and I kind of like having the box be a little bit bigger than this because I'm afraid this will get crushed or lost a lot easier. Um, but these are pretty sturdy and they come with $100 of insurance for free. And it's only generally about $4 more I've found on average the shipping cost. So if there's something like a $100 or $150 digital camera, lately I've been going this way. Uh, but what do you think? Am I wasting my time? How do you handle it? All right, there's just a few more sales on a Monday morning, wrapping up weekend on Mercari. Sold this Instyler 3-in-1 rotating barrel curling iron for $25.95 plus shipping. It's a model IS-1001, and it's good timing because just a few hours after this one sold, I found another one at a thrift shop for $3, and I had paid $4 for this one. Next up is the Uma Tello free home phone service voice over internet protocol phone. Um, new, but open box. This is a device that lets you plug a regular landline telephone into your internet router, or modem rather. And this went for $29.95 as an open box. If it had been still sealed, might have gotten five or $10 more. If it had been used, would have gotten $10 less maybe, but I only paid $4 for it at Goodwill. This thing's wrapped up already. It is a uh, stained glass sun catcher, about six inches round of uh, a dove representing the Holy Spirit. I took an offer for $14 even. And finally, sold a toner. 
Cost of goods, zero dollars. This was from a lot. This is an open box Hewlett Packard 05A toner cartridge. Uh, I sold for $43.95 plus shipping. Now, in general, when you list toner cartridges, they're generally, depending on the model number, pretty good profit, but you might get some offers really quick. And I've noticed that I get offers from other resellers or flippers. You know, it could be that the going rate for this, say, was $50, and I'll get offers for $35 or $40. And I'd, I'd say be careful on toners taking offers too early, but it's all up to you and your individual circumstance. If you need the money, by all means, take it if it's offered. But I think you can generally get really solid money for toners, especially if they're name brand, if you just hold out a little bit. So that's it for my weekend sales closing out September of 2024. And my next video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go over a bunch of finds in a thrift shop that I did not get and why. Although they could be borderline cases and in some instances could be worth picking up for you. So I'll see you next time.